director for International Center for Peace and Democracy based in Canada. And we are holding, and this uh, event is uh, sponsored by World Environment and Resource Council. I welcome all of you to participate in this interactive um, discussion. We will open the floor once our speakers will finish their statements. Ladies and gentlemen, as this uh, Office of United Nations for Human Rights has been encouraging to generate the debate across the world on the very important issues of human rights which are widely violated in different areas of the world. As we are native of the state Jammu and Kashmir, which is under the control of Pakistan, India and China. But there are serious issues involved with respect, with regard to the human rights uh, and to fundamental freedoms. As our focus of this discourse is, the recent elections took place in Pakistan-controlled Kashmir on June 26, 2011. Pakistan-controlled Kashmir is widely propagated by Islamabad as a free part and it has all trappings of the sovereign state like President, Prime Minister, Legislative Assembly, Supreme Court. But if in reality, if you look into the uh, situation or uh, closely examine the legal, political, constitutional status, it is far from the, the, this reality. As recent elections itself reflect upon this uh, situation and those statements and those parties took part in this electoral process were widely dominated by the Pakistani political parties outfits and Pakistani ideologies which are shaping politics of this controlled Kashmir and if you are disagreeing with their control, their ideologies, their outfits, you are not allowed, you are not eligible to participate in that electoral process unless you declare your loyalty, your allegiance with the state's accession with Pakistan, whereas if you look at or examine the claims of the Pakistan the government, Pakistan's constitution, Pakistan's stance, it says it is a disputed territory and it publicly claims to support the aspirations of the Kashmiris. But when you examine its practices, it is not allowing to the local parties, which has no relationship with Islamabad-based outfits in uh, uh, Pakistan-controlled Kashmir. They are not eligible to participate there. And recently, when this process started, and the one party which was in power in uh, Islamabad, Pakistan People's Party, tried to win over this election through different fair, uh, unfair means. As a result of that, the other political leadership of the Pakistan, which outfits were participating in that electoral process, they came out first time 
and they accused that this process has been rigged, badly rigged, and it was endorsed by the Pakistan, uh, that chief election commissioner of this AJK. And the statement of the chief election commission, or uh, election commission, is on the record. It was published in the Pakistani media, and it was quoted by the most of the Pakistani academics, writers, media, politicians that once election commission of Pakistan controlled Kashmir concedes about the gross violations of this uh, electoral process. So you cannot claim that elections were fair. But it's not the first time that such kind of rigging has taken place in that part. It has been a long practice prior to 1971 when there was no democratic uh, political process in uh, Pakistan controlled Kashmir. The Islamabad used to be nominated the president there directly. In 1970, first time that electoral process started, and then in 1970, if you look at the constitution of the 1970, it was a different from the constitution which was imposed by the Pakistan People's Party, authored by the Pakistan People's Party law minister Abdullah Fiza in 1974, which has created the Kashmir Council. And Kashmir Council has robbed all the rights from the Muzaffarabad Assembly, handed over, transferred to, to the AJK Council, the council which is headed by, which is numerically in control of the Pakistan, uh, Pakistan, which is constitutionally in control of the Pakistan, and which controls all the important matters. In, that part. And as a result of that, the Zafrabad Assembly, the, that region has been rendered as a non-entity into the affairs of the uh, uh, Pakistan-controlled Kashmir politics. So this is, there, 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 there are statements from the, if uh, the chairman of the Kashmir Pakistan Kashmir Committee, which is Pakistan Parliament Kashmir Committee, Molana Fazlur Rahman, after this election, and he stated on the media, he stated on the Dunya TV, while he was interviewed by uh, one anchor about the status and the validity and the legitimacy of the uh, uh, elections, he said that he wished that the Kashmir, Azad Kash, people of the Azad Kashmir be empowered or allow, ever allowed to form their own government freely. It is the Fazlur Rahman who is chairing the committee of the parliament, uh, Pakistan's parliament. That's, he said that the elections were not only flawed, but the sense, the control of the Pakistan, it has been a practice that only that party managed to form the government in Zafrabad, which was in control in Islamabad. So that, he said, that clearly reflects that the people of Azhar Kashmir were never allowed to form their government freely and independently. And then he commented on the agency's role. He said that being a disputed part, Kashmir being a disputed part, the military and the agency's role is overwhelming in this area and they equally influence the electoral process in Pakistan-controlled Kashmir. This statement is on the record on the Dunya TV. If you go on Dunya TV, you click Molana Fazlur Rahman's statement on uh, uh, AJK elections, you would find it. There is a statement from uh, I.A. Rahman, he wrote an article in Daily Dawn after the elections and the status and the legitimacy of that uh, uh, elections. And he stated that the Pakistan, the FATA, 
where this Taliban issue and uh, militancy is going on, which is why now all across the Pakistan, not only in FATA. And he said that FATA is a constitutionally part of Pakistan, but no Pakistani political party is allowed to form, establish its political outfit in FATA. But in uh, Azad Kashmir, everything is run by the Islamabad and controlled by Islamabad and dominated by the Pakistan political outfit. P -p -p Pakistan political parties. FATA, that though no party can form, the, it's I mean political branch in FATA, which is part of Pakistan. But if you look at the practice of the Pakistani establishment of the successive different governments, they have been heavily involved in not only winning the election, in controlling and shaping every walk of life in that part. And that's he's general secretary of. Pakistan human rights. That's his statement. He said it is sad to, I mean, notice such kind of control. And Pakistani officials should revisit their practices in the context, in the framework of their, I mean, claims and their constitutional claims, their public claims on the Kashmir issue. And that can seriously undermine the Pakistan position. That's what. Ayer Ramon suggested, and Daily Dawn even wrote an editorial after that. And Daily Dawn has mentioned, and Ayer Ramon even mentioned, referred those uh, Daily Dawn uh, 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 editorial too. Nawaz Sharif is one of former prime minister, twice prime minister of Pakistan, and major political party of the Pakistan has openly not only accused, but they launched the protest there. And while he was speaking at Rawla court uh, electoral uh, rally there, he said that he knew that how and who forms the government in Azad Kashmir. But he would not allow them anymore to do these kind of uh, things. And he would, I mean, in, try to empower the people of the Azad Kashmir so that they can have a say in their affairs. That's the statement. I'm, I'm just mentioning the statements, referring the statements of the Pakistani leaders. I'm not making my personal, uh, any personal statement. If anyone has any doubt, it is available on uh, the media. So that, that's what I'm uh, making, I'm just trying to inform this, uh, uh, I mean, opinion that how this so-called uh, Azad Kashmir is ruled and controlled through the multi-layers control from like Ministry of the Kashmir Affairs to the, I mean, it's uh, top uh, bureaucrats to the military, to the intelligence agencies and then the AJK Council, which controls 52 subjects out of 50 subjects. Only four subjects are with the uh, J JK Assembly. So, so that's, that's the status of that uh, Azad Kashmir there, which uh, we, we are, I mean, discussing, and uh, I won't take any, uh, I mean, uh, more time since we have a very distinguished panel here. I am my first speaker is uh, Dr. Muzir Pilani. He is a Secretary General of Jammu and Kashmir Human Rights Council, and he has been writing, and the JKHC have published the reports on both sides of the Kashmir's uh, elections, and uh, always I've been uh, writing and involved uh, in Kashmir. I mean, in question of human rights violations and uh, issue of democracy, and which is the cornerstone for, and which has become a litmus test for the all human rights. So I will 